In this Pixplan tutorial, we'll be seeing examples of creating seamlessly tiling textures from seed images. We'll be looking at the tools included in Pixplan to prepare a good seed image to deal with unwanted image features and to generate at different seed scales. This tutorial is split in two parts. Uh, we'll be seeing some more straightforward examples in this part, while part two uh, includes some other examples. This tutorial doesn't use the 3D maps editing part of Pixplant, but any of the generated textures could be converted into 3D maps through the Send to 3D Maps button at the top. The seed images we'll be using uh, are from benclower.com and from burningwell.org to great collections of public domain photos. And uh, we're starting with a clover. Uh, field uh, image. Um, so uh, this is the seed image area uh, into which I've loaded the, the source clover field image and uh, I'll just uh, it uh, generate um, to see uh, what it can uh, generate without any further input. Um, we'll need of course to tell Pixplan the size of the texture um, to be generated, let's just use uh, 1024 by 1024. And uh, Pixplan generated this image, which tiles seamlessly. We can also see it in full screen. Um, let's turn back. Um, let's now proceed to the second uh, example. It's um, so I'll just uh, close first. And uh, the second example is um, uh, some sort of uh, plastic textile. And uh, let's just try eating generate to see what we get. Okay, and the uh, Pixplan detected the, um, the tiling structure and uh, generated a seamlessly tiling texture. Okay, let's see another example now. And it's um, Denim. Uh, textile, a denim textile, and uh, again let's just see generate and see. Okay, so it has produced a suitable tiling texture. Um, let's see another one. As I've said, these are all quite straightforward. Um, so let's now see um, metallic surface. Uh, this looks some. Uh, this this could be some sort of Islamic pattern. And let's try generating without changing anything to see what uh, Pixplant can get us. Okay. So uh, we have here a problem. Um, part of the seed image includes some um, uh, highlights and uh, when uh, this is generated uh, into the, the texture um, these uh, different areas, these uh, brighter areas appear um, this might be a problem for, for when the, the texture is, is seen from uh, at, at a certain at size, tiling at a certain size, because it makes more or less noticeable that uh, it's, a, it's a tiling texture. These outstanding features make it obvious that it's tiling. So let's see how we can remove them. Um, in Pixplant you can uh, generate into a uh, part of the, of the texture, into a portion of the texture, by selecting uh, an area in it and pressing generate. Let's see if we if this can solve our problem. Okay, so it's not solving our problem because it's still including this um, 
brighter areas. Okay, so to deal with this, we need to go to the seed image and out select the, um, the parts that we don't want to be used when generating. In this case, it appears to be this area. So I'll just out select it. Perhaps a bit more. And try generating. Of course, uh, we could just generate to the affected zones. But let's generate again everything. Okay, so it has generated without the um, highlight problems uh, that we had previously. Uh, you can see that it's now tiling uh, better without uh, noticeable uh, artifacts. Although we have something here, this seems like a stain of some sort. So let's get rid of it. Uh, it's here, so I'll just select it. And uh, we can try generate immediately. Okay, it's gone. It it has gone away. Otherwise, we could uh, we could come here and out select the um, the source of the the stain, which is probably this area. But anyway, it has worked like this, and um, and we're done with this example. So let's now close it and move on to the next one. And the next one is a bark surface. Okay, so let's see. Oops, I forgot to to mention something. Um, Pixplant is giving us a warning here uh, by setting this label to orange. Um, so let, let's just click it and see what wh what it is. So this is um, the select pattern window. Um, Pixplant uh, does um, some analysis of the seed image when uh, when it has to open it and um, to, to see if it can understand the structure of the image. And in some cases, um, Pixplant is not able to do this. Um, and so it will alert us in this manner to, to come here and either um, uh, define a pattern or tell uh, Pixplant explicitly, explicitly that there is no pattern. And uh, this seems to be the case, so I'll just press the no pattern, no pattern button, and hit OK. Uh, I'll now generate. OK, so it created a, a tiling uh, texture, but we may have here a problem. As you can see, the tiling is quite noticeable because of these uh, elements, these image elements. Let's get rid of them. Um, they all appear to come from this this uh, part of the seed image, so I'm out selecting it, and we could just generate it um, all, or let's just generate a portion. Let's get rid of these two immediately. Okay, and now this one. Okay, so it's now much uh, more uniform. And you can see that uh, it doesn't have those noticeable, those outstanding features uh, that would uh, immediately um, um, show that uh, it was a, a tiling pattern. It's much less obvious like this. Okay, uh, and now to into our last example. And we have a brick wall. Um, okay, so uh, let's take a look at the seed wizard. The seed wizard is a button that um, that uh, that can be um, clicked to to open the seed wizard window, uh, which um, is uh, useful to deal with uh, problematic seed images. Uh, and what's a problematic seed image? Um, if the image has uh, some some pattern, some some repeating pattern, um, then um, we we might need to um, correct the the seed image so that the 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 pattern in the image uh, is aligned with the the sides of the image. Um, in in this case. Um, 
we can see that there's not much of a problem although here at the bottom you can see that there is a slight slope in the in the brick row so we can come here and changing this control point so that it's now more aligned by changing these uh, these four control points we can uh, correct the seed image so that its elements are aligned with the uh, with the image sites we'll be seeing later on uh, in part two of the tutorial uh, how to deal with uh, complicated situations uh, but here i don't think we need we need to do much more and this is the step one of the wizard step two after we click next is the um, select pattern uh, step this is uh, basically the same window that we've seen uh, previously when we uh, pressed select pattern and uh, here uh, we, we, we if the seed image has a pattern we can define here um, uh, a, a grid a rectangle and a grid uh, that uh, cover most of that uh, pattern um, so that each pattern element is included in a in a cell of the grid for instance um, see here how um, each of these uh, cells grid cells in each of these grid cells um, this uh, kind of brick this type of brick always appears at the top left corner so uh, this is what can be defined here and this helps pixplan generating um, a better um, seamlessly tiling uh, texture of course there are uh, seed images where this cannot be done uh, exactly i mean in, uh, in in a perfect manner for instance you can see that some of these uh, bricks uh, are not perfectly aligned with the grid but um, what's necessary here is to to define um, this grid as as better as as, as best as possible um, and Pixplant will try to do the the rest in uh, generating um, seamlessly tiling uh, texture so uh, you can see for instance now that the corner of the um, the rectangle of the pattern rectangle is in the middle of these types of of this type of um, bricks um, so the idea here is to is to select this grid this rectangle and the respective grid so that so to help pixplant handling this most of the times pixplant will will do this by itself so i'll just press finish and let's generate okay so it has generating generated a, a tiling uh, uh, texture um, another setting or one setting that we haven't yet seen is the seed scale a seed scale um, um, sets the size of the, the seed pattern elements when they are, when when we are generating into the texture for instance if i make this smaller and generate you will notice that now the elements are smaller and uh, likewise if i set it bigger to uh, Lar greater than 100% they will now be generated much larger okay so now setting them to near 100% um, just a, a quick uh, a quick final thing um, we also we have the that, that problem as before of an image element appearing twice and making it more notorious that uh, it is a tiling uh, pattern so let's get rid of this one it appears to be this one here so I'm generating here okay and it has now gone the other one is still there we could have, of course also remove it and uh, so uh, we've seen how to create seamlessly tiling textures from some uh, photos. In this part we've seen some more straightforward cases. Check the second part for some more involved examples. And uh, thanks for watching. The Pixplan demo for Windows and Mac OS X can be downloaded at uh, pixplan.com.